What's going on guys? My name is Jenner August and welcome back to Tomb Raider. We are in the middle of the city... No, that was the last level. The Obelisk of Kamun. I get those two confused uh, just when in the level itself because they look very similar. And they involve like the same beginning and end, if you know what I mean. I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted. I want to get rid of this guy. There we go. Watch the explosions, because they do hurt you, which I found out the hard way and actually died to that. Um, yeah, we're in the middle of the Atlas Kamun. We have one of the four pieces just letting down that lever right now. I can't remember what the fourth one is. I don't know if I can see it. It's like a seal or something, or like the Rosetta Stone or something like that. But uh, we're going to come up here really quick and see if there's anything we have to do up here. Because there's a couple of secrets we can grab. Was that my footsteps? I think there's a mummy on the other side of that door. That scared me a little bit. Um, okay, we can't get back up in there, but... Uh, I think there's, I think that leads to another room. We can just go in the hard way. Not the hard way, you're just... Yeah, I think it's the hard way just um, going to the room besides sliding down there. But we're going to get a couple of secrets like right in quick succession right here. This isn't a secret, I don't believe. But we're gonna get like two, I think. I'm just gonna jump over here, because there's an item over here. It's like, all right. Come on, pick him up. There we go. You can do it, Lara. I believe in you. So two Magnum, it's like 100 bullets, and then a small midi pack. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, okay, so that's a secret right there. We can get to the uh, the very top of the obelisk, just run and jump. And the problem is we can't get back up here, but I don't think we need to. I mean, that's the... Oh, there's a... Oh, that's the other side. That's right, because we uh, there's the door leading to where we were able to slide down in, and I think we're supposed to climb all the way back into that room. Um... And then that switch does... Like, all these involve bringing down the bridges. As soon as we have all four items, we can move on to the... Uh, to the beginning of the City of Kamun level, which we saw with the Sphinx. Please make it. Oh, that was close. Alright. And we can put those uh, items into the, uh, the true obelisk, is what I like to call it. Because I like this obelisk... It involves, like, the items itself, but if you saw in the beginning of the last video, or towards the beginning, it was is with dealing with the Sphinx. There was that other obelisk where we could put in the items, and that's how we activate, like, the doors and getting into the final level of this set, three-set level. So we're going to make this run and jump right over that statue, because behind there, there's a couple more Uzi clips, and, j well, just a secret overall. So I hate this, because you can hit it and then immediately die. I think we take fall damage anyway. Yeah. That was very close. Ooh, two sets. Sweet. Alright, so we just come down here. And then we're not going to go in there yet because that I hate that room. And I don't think we... I don't think we have the thing down anyway, right? Yeah. This switch does one of them. Or not. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know what? There's a switch up top which raise, which uh, lowers that one, and there's a switch in there that lowers the other one. All right, I got it. I got it. I got. It. So hopefully, my intention for this video. Hold on, give me a sec. Oh yeah, we're gonna go get that. Uh, my intention for this video is to complete or get to the next level. That's my objective. I mean, it's not a long. This next area isn't long. I was pushing forward. All right, I didn't want to fall off. But uh, this next things we have to do, collect the stuff, is not long. It's just very tedious. So if I screw up, then I'll have to do it again, obviously. And I don't want to. Uh, we're going to save, just in case. I know there's a save crystal up top, but I like to save it every opportune moment. Not when it's convenient, just... Oh, you know what? I think there's items down there. Nah, there's... I don't wanna. Uh, whoops. I think there's a few enemies down there, and I think it's just minor items. I'm already up here. I don't want to waste time. 
I don't think it's a secret. If it is, sue me. And I'll, I mean, I'm going to go through the secrets I miss anyway. Um, that I haven't, like, failed that, obviously. Especially that one. Back in the Tomb of Teokin. Can't believe I passed over that secret. Pretty dumb of me. I'm sorry if my voice is a little shaky and I'm scrambling up my words. It's early into the morning. Or late at night, if you want to put it that way. But, uh, like, I'm bored. There's something to do. I decided to record a couple of Tomb Raider episodes. Maybe even, like, more content uh, later on tonight. Or this morning. Tonight. Because I haven't gone to sleep yet. That's the way I want to view it. I think that did it the other... Blocked. Yep, see, now this is, these are blocks instead of slants. But, uh... Yeah, it's just like, if I stay up, here's my view on that. If I stay up till 10 in the morning, I don't consider it the next day because I haven't fallen asleep yet. I think there's a mummy in here, yeah. Here are you moaning. Oh, jerk bag. All right. Surprised I didn't get hit by that splash damage. Is there any items in here? There's a switch. Yep, there was a small medipack. pack. I saw it. Yeah, that like that 10 a.m. Oh, now we can get back in there. But that 10 a.m. thing, like, that's just an example. So, it's still tonight, even though it's like 4 in the morning. <laughs> I don't know. I'm bored. I refuse to go to sleep. Because I don't want to. I don't feel like it. I don't feel tired. It's not because I've been drinking energy drinks. I haven't had, like, a sugary drink yet. But... I don't know. Well, I probably should to keep my commentary going. Give me a sec while I sip some. Hmm. <laughs> I forgot that was there. <laughs> thought it was empty. All right, so we have that one down, and we have this switch to the next door so we can get down pretty easily. Especially by sliding down. Why did you stop and jump? That was weird. Whoop. Oh, it's not a... Okay. Oh, so now we're going down there. All right. I see how it is. Ow, jeez. That was a sharp drop. I know now we can get down there, but I really don't want to waste the time. I kind of want to get to the next level. The next level's... Uh, I'm going to have this debate in the comments or something like that, but I really, really like the next level. And it... When I got to it the very first time and saw, like, the magnitude of it and what it wanted me to do... I was thoroughly impressed in, like, my jaw dropped, literally, because of just how well it was constructed and all that. It was it was really well done. And, I don't know, I'm on the flip side, because I really like St. Francis Folly. And I really like the Coliseum. And I really like, even though it's a short level, uh, the city of Kamun. Not the obelisk. Um, but, I don't know. The next level is called Sanctuary of the Skion. But uh, I really like that level a lot, and I, I'm on the borderline of calling it my favorite level. Oh, it's a secret. All right, not a very challenging secret, but uh, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and say it. Sanctuary of the Skion is my favorite level, and I've taken some thought, and I've gone over it in my head numerous times. That was a weird glitch. Um, just with St. Francis Folly, because I really like that as well, obviously. Um, and I said that was my favorite level, but, you know, after thinking about it, I really like Sanctuary of the Skion. I really do. So I am gonna, I'm, I'm voting it my favorite level. I'm not arguing with it, you can't argue with me, because it's my own preference. And I know I've said already St. Francis Folly is my favorite level, but Sanctuary of the Skion is my favorite level. It's great, and I can't wait to show you guys what's in it and just the first time playing through it. It's just, oh man, it was so good. It's really not even that complicated a level. It's 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 a little longer than City of Kamun, because City of Kamun, I think, is the shortest level in the game. And I think it's a little shorter than Obelisk of Kamun, of what you have to do in that grand scale of things. Now, the switch is all the way through this parkour grinding crap, but, uh, if I drop down, then, uh, Antlanians will swarm me, and I've tried to get out numerous times without even trying to fight them, but they're too damn fast, 
and they're really annoying, and I really don't want to deal with them, but I know I have to. Okay, I'm glad there's a save crystal. Not gonna do it yet. And there's the switch. Get the last one. Get the scarab. And then we'll be on to the sanctuary. Or very close to the sanctuary, anyway. We still have a little bit of the obelisk to do with. Alright. I hate this part. Because I can get up there, but they immediately, like, spawn, so I hate it. Absolutely hate it. There they are. You can't, like, there's no time, because they immediately run at you. I am going to heal right off the bat. So, ah, oh man. It's, it feels like that, uh, it feels like that, the last level where we had that, or not last level, last episode. Still this level. I hate you. I'm trying to talk here. Get off my ass. But, uh, it's just like the last level with the, oh, I'm going to die. Please heal, please heal, please heal. <sighs> All right. But, uh, it's just like the, uh, the last episode where we went into that ambush and it's, it's too complicated to deal with two of these freaking enemies at the same time. And you know how it's going to be when we get to the later levels of the game. It's because it's the primary enemies. And when you start fighting three or four of them at the same time, it's just completely insane. So, yeah, I'm excited for the last couple of levels. But at the same time, I'm dreading it because it, it, it'll probably be the most time spent uh, in those levels. As comparison to all the time I'm spending in these levels. Because, you know what? I know these levels by heart, and I'm a little shaky towards the end of the game. I mean, I know the last level by heart, but, like, these, the last two, nah. Because I remember, like, the the second last one has, uh, is a freak, has a maze in it. There's items down here, but this tunnel's really, really long. You could almost, like, run out of breath from this tunnel, so I don't want to even deal with, um, the items. You know, I'm just going to focus on that and get to my tangent later. Because I don't want to run out. I may be over-exaggerating, but I remember going through this the first time and be like, Oh my gosh, where do I go? Alright. Okay. I don't even remember what I was talking about. <laughs> I can't even finish my tangent because I just completely cut it off. I'm talking about the last levels. And my memory on it. Like, the the next set of levels, the first level is called Natlas Mines. And it's literally like like a mine shaft. And I can't remember, like, specifically what I have to do. I know, like, there's a few, there's a puzzle that I, now that I think about it, I'm like, okay, I think I know where to get these keys that I need. But at the same time, I'm like, eh, what do I have to do after that? Like, it's a little shaky, and I think I have to be, oh my gosh, seriously? I have to be presented in this situation to remember. I mean, the most memorable levels, obviously, I can remember by heart, but still. I mean, right now, what's going through my mind? Right now. Okay, so what do I have to do next? I believe what's next is this little sphinx thing. Um, like, right now, in this level, in the city of Kamun. Like, I believe there's we have to go, like, this sand room it's got another mummy in it i think it has another item and then we're going to be able to open up the doors of the sanctuary of the ski on oh look a sand room i hear a mummy oh look a mummy see and i believe there's a, there is a couple of items in here and then we're and then we're going to be able to get to the uh, sanctuary or the beginning of the level because right here are those statues again And again, I think Eidos and Kor did this really well, that it's not really backtracking. Well, I mean, it, it's another form of backtracking. It's more circling, I want to say. I don't know if there's a general term for it, but that's my term for it. That It's more circling rather than... Uh, this is the back of the Sphinx. I just realized that. Um, than uh, backtracking. Which is still is backtracking. Sort of. So now we're going to be on that, uh, slide. Although I don't think it's a slide. I think it's stairs now, because if it, just in case you miss something. So now we're back. Which is really cool. It's really unique. I don't think we can even get into... See the blocks? <laughs> That's so weird. 
See, the block is there, but there's a keyhole, but you don't have a key. It's really unique. And there were shotgun shells, so someone's been here. I don't even know if you can get over there. You know what? Let's look around for a second. I don't think we can get back up here. Because if we can, then there's got to be a secret. <gasps> Come on, Lara, go. I'm just looking if there's an enemy, too. I know that's got to be closed off, because I don't think they would be going all the way back. Is there nothing up here? I'll be a little, I'll be a little ashamed and a little sad that if I, if I miss a secret. Hmm. Oh man, I like the circling. <laughs> I really do. I like it a lot. I don't think we can get up there and there was no items up there anyway, on top of the, uh, the doorway. So this is the true obelisk. I think there's stuff in the water. Let me just double check. Just want to double check really quick. Eh, it doesn't look like it. All right. So this one is the eye. Just by the way it looks. No, oh, it's going to look at the door every time too. Ugh. Whoa, that the, <laughs> the foliage scared me a little bit. Don't do that. It's the scarab. Okay. This is the whatever it's, what is it? Seal of Anubis. I thought the other one was a seal of Anubis for some reason, but that was the Ankh. All right. And the Ankh. Or the Ankh of Anubis is what I thought it was. Or is what I thought it said. All right. Moment of truth, if I missed anything, and it looks like I did, I thought I saw an item. Or not. <laughs> I wonder if I can get back up there. I just wanna re I just wanna double check. I don't wanna I don't wanna miss anything. I'm still learning. I mean I have not looked up a walkthrough for Tomb Raider. I'm just I just wanna know if there's anything else. That was a little weird. No key, that's disappointing. No, I think that's it. I think. Pretty sure. I'm about to find out. Because this is the end of the level. And only about like 20 minutes in, 18 minutes in. Three of three, all right, there we go. Now on to the sanctuary. Ooh, favorite level, just pointing that out. <laughs> and we, yeah, we have plenty of time to go through the sanctuary. Probably not enough time to complete it, but get through uh, most of it, I'd say. So right off the bat, we're gonna get enemies. Stop switching to that. I like the pistols and I've used the pistols all the way up till here, but still, we're gonna be facing Atlanteans. There they go. Now they have their uh, traditional skin color, I guess, or texture. I don't want to say skin color. That seems kind of racist, don't you think? And they're all explodey form. All right, so I think there are a few items down here. Yep. Come on. And we get to see the scarab again. That's the one thing we got to get. And there's a safe crystal down there. The scarab in that gate is gonna go into there, into that gate, which is gonna lead us to the end of the level. So we have this huge thing to do. How are we gonna get to the scarab? We gotta get on the other side. Where does that gate lead? All right, I love the, the presentation of this level. It's so good. You got this huge, you got two gates on the other side. You got this huge walkway all the way upstairs to just complete ecstasy. I don't know. <laughs> Try to find the right word. I couldn't find it. I replaced it with that. Pretty sweet. 
this huge open cave on the back of the Sphinx. Okay. Alright, so I think there's two or three areas we gotta go. We gotta go flip a switch first. I'm trying to remember. I'm not too kind of shaky from here on out. Well, that's outside. That's not the game. That was weird. The car racing by. Yeah, there's one area down there. There's an area over there. There's an area over there. Yeah, it's just a lot of door opening and flip switching in this level. We're gonna have a landing to do with. He likes to shoot me though, so. All right, he's shooting the wall, which is good. They like to shoot these exploding orbs at me. And that's gonna be really, really common once we get to the last couple of levels. It's gonna suck. All right, so we gotta get up there. I don't remember how to, I don't remember what's first though. And yep, this is Sphinx. Ultimately, we gotta get in there. There's a Magnum ammo right there. Sweet camera angle, bro. Yeah, we're gonna be coming back. Or that door is gonna be open. We're gonna be coming back down here. Um, I think we gotta climb first because there's a switch at the top. Oop. And if I remember correctly, this is where I left off of the last series, of the last playthrough. Because when I loaded up the game, uh, I just hit current position when you can load. Because if you're in the middle of a level, there's a lot of save crystals. And you select current position, and I was at the very top, right next to the switch. Right at that save crystal right there. So I don't know if that's where I ended it, or... I don't remember, because I, I... You know... I do delete stuff off my channel if I don't think it's great. I deleted the Minecraft, I deleted the first Amnesia, I deleted Tomb Raider. There's a few other things I can't remember what I deleted though. But, you know, I'm kind of upset that I didn't save it because it... There's a lot of channel history there. And I'd like to see where I left off. And I think it would have been better if I just left it because this is a reboot. So, kind of just playing it again. So I apologize if, you, if you've been from the beginning of the channel and watching this again, but I, you know, I've explained this in the reboot vlog, but I really, f I didn't feel complete. Or the game wasn't, yeah, I didn't feel complete because the game wasn't complete. I didn't feel complete because the series wasn't done. I wasn't complete with my playthrough. You guys didn't get to see the end, and that includes Amnesia. Although Amnesia is not part of the reboot because I kind of spoiled it for myself. I spoiled it in the sense because I know like the scares and where to go and you know yada yada yada. Like a scary game, you can't do that. If you play it once, you gotta complete it all the way through. So that that's my bad. So I can't, that's why Amnesia wasn't on the reboot list. But you know, ah oh, man, I should have kept going even though like I didn't think it was good and that's why I deleted it. Ugh. As soon as I flip the switch, we're gonna have flying Atlanteans after us. We're gonna just suck. Oh, okay, it's that one. That's good. That's really good. Now I gotta take care of this guy. Or there's two of them, I don't remember. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, the problem with killing these guys is that... Yeah, they're a little annoying, but at the same time I can't jump around because... I'm gonna die if I jump off. All right, so we're gonna get over there, but right now I want to get the uh, the Uzis. That was very close. I hate this. Um, I don't know if it's a secret or not. I can't remember, but it is, and it's one probably the douchiest secret of all time because they're just kind of sitting right there. I'm sure I played this up in the other. Uh, playthrough as well because the Uzis are on this invisible platform one block wide like this this wide of a block one block The Uzis are just sitting there in midair you can't see it except for the Uzis of course you can see the little pixels, but that's it That's it they're right there floating in midair and if you did happen to miss them 
Alright, I hate this jump because this is a slanted thing of a ling a ding. We're gonna wing it because we saved. Oh gosh, make it! Oh, I missed. Fuck. Alright. So we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna try to try like not try, 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 try. The <laughs> the high point right here. Or is that even Hold on. This doesn't look like I'm angled with it, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna try it right here. I think that's okay. I think I can take one step. See, it looks like I'm off now, as compared to it. But right here, I couldn't grab it. It didn't allow me to. We're gonna try from right here. Right here. Come on! Oh my gosh, are you serious, Lara? Oh, I thought the game froze. <laughs> Three deaths, two deaths being right here. I just want the Uzis. Just give me the Uzis, please. Uh, I hate it. I hate this jump. Oh, I'm gonna try this one more time. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get up like right here. Right to the very edge. I hate my life. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. I swear, last try. <laughs> I swear, one more time. Oh my gosh! Oh my, oh my, oh, 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 I gotta pause it. I gotta pause it. I gotta pause it. I gotta dance. I'm not dancing, I swear. Okay. I think it's as soon as I pick up the Uzis, we're gonna have another flying dude after us, and he can push us off really easily. Okay, I'm just gonna turn around. Oh no! I didn't mean to do that! Oh no, no! <gasps> she didn't grab the ledge! She didn't grab! I pressed X! She didn't... You know what? You know what? Screw the Uzis. <laughs> I'm done. We can get them later in the game. Or I can try for them before I leave the level. But you know, right now, I don't want to deal with your bullshit. I don't want to deal with it. I got it. And then you let me down. I had them in my bag. And then the game let me down. So you know what? I'm not going to deal with it. I'm just going to go on with the rest of the level. We are going to get we are gonna get them as a drop from a mini boss um, towards the end of the game. Anyway. So it's fine. The magnums are fine. I, I, you know, I like the magnums. To, I like the magnums more than I do the... Uh, the Ozies anyway. It's fine. Die in midair, please. Thank you. Okay, well, you know, the Uzis, um... Sure, they shoot super fast, but they only have, like, pistol damage. If you know what I mean. Uh, it's about the same damage as the pistols, as the regular pistols. But, uh, I'm glad that wasn't a slant. I kind of guessed. Am I going the right way? Can I get it over here? I can. Can I get over there from here? Is what is my question? Or am I going the wrong way? I don't know. But the uh, the magnums are stronger than the pistols, but the Uzis are just as strong as the pistols, but uh, they shoot faster. So it's kind of a preference. Yeah, I can't get over there from here. I have to go the other way. Um, it's just a preference on what you want and what you like. Uh, yeah, whatever. I almost died. That wasn't, yeah, whatever. Okay. So how do I get up there? Do I get use that block? I don't remember. We'll figure it out when, it, when we come to it. Alright. Okay, so first of the uh, challenges. Uh... Okay, I think there's items in the water, but I'm going to deal with it later, because it's not the right way to go. 
See, I tried to do that with the Uzis, but it didn't work. But she didn't do it. She didn't grab the ledge, which I was very disappointed in. Because I was going to try to grab the Uzis really, really quick and do a running jump to the uh, ledge. Because the dude, oh gosh, the dude was going to be behind us. Because he's flying. And I wanted to get to like a safer point rather than just one block in midair. That I can't even see the edges on. So, yeah. Oh, there's a key down there. We need the key first. Oh well. It didn't work out. I might try for it towards the end of the level like I said before. But I don't want to deal with it right now. <laughs> Oh, come on. Alright. Hopefully I can just do this in one shot. So I don't have to come back up here. Now that I've said it. I botched it. <laughs> I think I got to jump. I think I got it. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna deal with some Atlantean horsemen like we saw in Tumatiokin. Oh, we gotta open the door first. Duh. Here we go. No, no, no. I think it's only one. He likes to shoot it at us too, so I'm going to try to not get him have an angle on us. Come on. Come on. Don't be shy. Should be dead. There we go. Ow. Alright, first of the yonks. I think there's two? Yeah? <laughs> Actually, I think there's an item over here. I'm gonna get the item, and then I'm gonna save. There we go. Another medipack to the collection. So... I want to get up to where, like, that... Stuff was before. I don't know how to explain it. Like the with the rock formations and such. But I can't remember how to get up there. Because so I think that activates the other switch to open up that other uh, area that we need to go to get the Ankh. But... I guess we'll figure it out. Is there an item in here? Let's double check. Yeah. I think you have to climb the Sphinx to get, up there. to get up there. Just a little bit anyway. We'll figure it out. Nose it just... Ugh. Okay. Another dude? I don't remember. Or can I get, like, can I... Is it scaling the blocks? Because I can jump from here to over there, I'm pretty sure. Yep, here we go. I just couldn't see it. It's dark over here. And there's a trap up there. I can't remember like if there is a switch up here that activates the other one. Or if the door is already open. I don't remember. We'll figure it out. Together. Is there anything more I can do to make this more creepy? Alright. Oh my gosh. Okay, the crystal scared me. I thought it was an enemy. Yeah, there's a switch. Uh. Alright, I should probably save. I was debating on whether I, if I wanted to come back. But if I die just ju by jumping or this trap, uh, I gotta start all the way back. Right. I think if, like... Um... If you even so much as touch that, even if it's not like, even if it's not on like it's spiky parts, you get hit anyway. So it kind of sucks. Oh no, the fateful decision. Should I run and jump or should, oh gosh. I see you. Should I run and jump or should I uh, stand jump? I think that, Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> oh no. What should I do? 
Oh no, what should I do? I'm really like... Oh no, stand and jump. Oh my gosh, we would have overshot it if we ran. Oh man, that was a little scary. Because I couldn't... Oh, I couldn't decide. It looked a little off to be a stand jump. But it was perfect. We almost overshot it by stand and jumping. All right. So we opened up that door and now we gotta get up there. I don't know why I climbed up here for, what was the point? I don't even know. I think it's the other side we gotta go around or something like that. Cause this is all sliding or not. Oh, just looked weird. Yeah, I think it's the other side we gotta get up on. Oh well, it's fine. Take a lovely stroll around the Sphinx. Screw you, you Uzis. <laughs> uh. Yep, figured that. <laughs> I can't do that. Uh, I'm not good at doing that. All right, here we go. I think. I'm not even sure. How do I get up there? I don't remember. <laughs> Seriously? How do I... Or do I have to go, like, the long way or something? Please don't tell me I gotta go back up there. Oh my gosh, seriously, do I have to? Oh, it looks like it. Oh no! Oh man, that completely sucks. Are you serious? Like, please tell me you're joking. Is there any, like, why can I climb the Sphinx right here if there's nothing, if I... What's the point? Why can I climb this? I'm trying to remember. I really am. I'm trying. All I remember from this level is that it's huge and you get the Uzis and that was it. <laughs> oh no! I'm confuzzled. Because we gotta get up there. Oh man, I gotta go around. Well, I guess I'm gonna try for the Uzis after all. All right, so I'm gonna climb all the way back up there, just in case. Um, so I'm gonna end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. You can leave a like, it shows your support, and you can subscribe to see more videos from me in the future. And I will see you guys on the next video. Stay frosty.